Hello everybody, I'm Erin Williams. I am here with Team Hunter Wood Shavings at Joe Stockdale's yard. The plan of today is I am gonna to get to ride one of Joe's horses and have a lesson and we are gonna see how that goes. Hi. Hi. I'm Erin. Nice to meet you. Oh, actually, let's get yeah. for a hug. <laughs> Who's this? So this is Holly. Uh, Hi, this Holly. is who you're going to be having a lesson on today. Um, we've had her at our yard for a fair little while now. Um, is she going to be nice to me? She should be, yes. <laughs> she should be. Um, she's a lovely horse, lovely and straightforward, so yeah, fingers crossed. Straightforward sounds good. <laughs> I am not a top show jumper like yourself. I have had a go. Well, we should well, be all right then. Yeah. Got the general idea. <laughs> Got the gist. We go over it and we don't fall off. That's the plan. That's usually what I try and do. Cool. Very grateful for Hunter for putting this day together. So let's go and get you on. Let's go. <laughs> Like, I'm a, I'm a trot, yeah. I'm a trot. Do you do stretchy trot? Do you do normal? What yeah, do you do? a bit of everything. You've got to stretch them out to start. And you've got to collect them up. They need to be able to go forward and back. Basically, when you're jumping, it's, it's very simple. Essentially, you need four things. You need to be able to move them forward. You need to be able to bring them back, turn right and turn left. If you can do that, you can generally get round. All right, it's, when you go okay. up, it's obviously going to get more complicated, isn't it? But to start with, we just want to check that you got do all you, those do you, eggs. Do you put them on the bit? What do you, yeah, what yeah, do you yeah. Do? Have, have her down there. Have her okay. working through her back, through her body. Because this is, you know, the warm-up's always just to get her soft, get her supple before we start jumping. <laughs> you know, with a bit at the fence is actually the simple bit. It's more about keeping them good in between and keeping their blood down. Because obviously uh -huh. it's a lot of adrenaline going through them when they're jumping round. So we've got to have them well schooled. You know, 50% of what we do is, is dressage and flat work anyway. Fair enough. But as you're trotting around, you just want to be checking that if you put your leg on, she, she'll move up and she'll actually step off your leg and go forward. If you sit up and just support her, make sure that she'll just shorten her step a little bit. Just make sure you've got all those aids to begin with. And then when you feel that she's, she's listening well and you've got no problems, you can step her into canter. Even if you just do a bit of canter and then come back into trot, you know, a couple of those half alts transitions, just to get her listening to begin with. You know, just get it, get her soft, get her supple again and listening to you. So we're aiming to get her round? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We want her round. We want her working through her whole body. Gotcha. You know, she's got to use all the muscles to, to be able to jump. So pick up canter on your left rein. Come round and just have a little pop over this cross pole just to begin with then. <laughs> there we go, all right. You had a bit of a long one there. That's it. Get that leg changed early. That's it. And pick up canter, good. So she'll lock onto the fence. As soon as she sees it, she's going to lock on and know that's where she's going. So you just got to stay soft. Okay. That's it. So just stay soft there. Let her canter. Wait. Yeah, lovely. Good. Super. The thing is with these, as soon as they know they're coming to a fence, that's when they're going to get the blood up a little bit, especially okay. with her. So actually, the, le the less we can fight them, the less we can interfere, the better. That's why when you see all those top guys jumping, it always seems like they have a perfect stride. Mm -hmm. You had a canter which is nearly going into a trot. It's not really canter. That's a one out of ten. Uh -huh. Ten out of ten would be galloping. Yeah. So you just want it five out of ten. So you've got all the energy of the canter you can get, but they're also the balanced. Okay. And what that means is we can come round, we can ask them to step forward, or we can ask them to shorten their stride without them losing the balance forward uh -huh. or losing the balance backward and getting behind your leg. Okay. Yeah? A little more rhythm. There it is, go with her. Yeah, good. Wait, don't push. Good. Yeah, super.
So, how'd I do? Very good. Yeah, <laughs> very impressed. I thought we didn't have any disasters. Uh, I thought he got better throughout the lesson, so I'd call it a success. You're a great teacher. I had a lot of fun. Thank you. No problem at all. I count it as a success that I stayed on. I don't want to say, now let's see what you can do, because we know it's going to put me to shame, but <laughs> let's see what you can do. <laughs> I was always inclined to make history, but I never really had the time. Spent my life living dangerously, never worried how I'm getting by. I'm out here working, trying to do what I can. I'm out here sweating, dripping blood from my hands. Doing what I'm good at. No problem at all, it's been a good day. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I mean, you did show me up slightly at the end, but I'll let you off. <laughs> I'd be a bit worried if I hadn't done it. True, me too. But you could come and always do dressage at mine. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We could dressage, put you never paces. been a, uh, a, a massive fan of the dressage, but I'm sure I could give it a go. I'm sure you could. How hard can it be anyway? <laughs> oh, <laughs> famous last word. <laughs> Thank you to Hunter Wood Shavings for setting this up and thank you for letting me ride your horse. I hope it didn't cause too many problems. No problem. No, you did very well. Yeah, oh. it's, like I say, it's been a good day. Knuckle punch me. <laughs> Doing what I'm good at.